So ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our video of Mars in the fourth house and the sign of Leo for Taurus ascendant people. As in what happens when Mars is in the fourth house, in the sign of Leo, while Mars is ruling the seventh and twelfth house in the birth chart. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular position and what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, Along with all your astrological details, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, and my books, consultations, a link to my academy, Magha Vedic Astrology Academy, where you will find all the courses, including my Keras vlogs, my uncensored vlogs, where I have been discussing a lot of things, including the activation of one's intimacy and one's, you know, uh, love life. Okay. So, Mars in the fourth house. In Leo, one of the things that you will see, see Mars, here's first of all, is in Agni Tattva. Itself is Agni, meaning fire. It's in the fire element. It is a natural fire planet. Okay. And it's directionless. Okay. One thing you first of all see is one finds lack of direction through the mother. One will always see my mother did not direct me into the right place. And royal, royal battles with the mother occurs. Royal meaning, it'll be very memorable battles that one just does not forget. It's kind of like becomes a legacy of a battle. The other thing, you will always notice this individual always emphasizing about investing and value of owning multiple properties. For them, see, fourth house represents storage. Here you have the significator of land and real estate in the fourth house, which represents land and real estate. It's in the sign of Leo. Okay, it is a sign of creation. Whenever you will talk to this individual, they will always talk about, listen, if you want to create wealth, do this, buy this property, then do this, buy that property, do this, then buy this property. And I've seen enough people where this has worked. And especially people with Taurus Ascendant, with Mars in the fourth house. Okay. Also, naturally we see that there would be a foreign settlement, even though Mars is in a fixed sign. Okay, fixed sign doesn't mean that you are fixed at one place. It shows that you could move and you're fixed at that particular place. It's hard for this particular Mars or any planet in such situation to just be very movable. Some people would move, you know, six, seven, eight times in their lifetimes. Nine times to different state, different uh, locations, buying and selling a property, then moving. And some people are there, meaning like, for a strong part of their life, for 20 years, they're a one single property. Then maybe they will think about changing if it really is required. Because a, a movable sign will always be anxious towards, hey, I want something new. I'm bored here. 10 years in this city, 10 years in this place. <sighs> Let's look for something else. Let's look for a change. The change occurs, but it's the change that does not occur so often. And one of the other things we also see that such a person will have to deal with issues of legal signatures, legal signatures on some ancestral property or land. And those signatures, and again, this is um, based on two very important things. One, if there is a malefic impact on Mars, one will sign to give it away. If there are more benefits or no impact, one will sign to gain. But also you will see, whenever Mars is in the sign of Cancer or Leo, or when Mars is in the fourth house or fifth house, always pay attention to the tithi between sun and moon. Especially if it's a waning tithi or a waxing tithi occurring. You will see based upon the tithi, is how the progression of that Mars occurs. Because you gotta understand one thing, Mars does not operate on its own will. Mars will never operate on its own will. 
Mars is a soldier. Mars is, as we know, it's a general of the army. You think a general can make a decision, okay, let me send a missile to this particular border and let me just take over it. Unless the authority of the president, prime minister comes in, only then that particular general will take action. So Mars action is never independent. It is always dependent upon the decisions of the king, even the queen. And this is why the Titi, and knowing what the Titi means, will show how Mars will operate. And also in the uh, Mars's position, usually you will see these people get into love marriages. Okay. But at the same time, there are, you will see whenever this person travels or whenever their spouse travels, there will be some heated argument related to some issue within the home. Not issue that is occurring outside, some issue within the home. And one of the most important things that these people need to pay attention to is where the kitchen is in the home. Usually you will find when Mars is in the 4000 Leo, a person is either born in a property with a kitchen in the eastern direction or they usually move, move into majority of the properties they where the kitchen would be in the eastern direction. Even if you look at the map of the home and even if kitchen is in the middle, sometimes it's in the Brahmastan, but slightly it will be a little bit over towards the eastern direction. If that's the case, especially with Mars, you got two Agni Tattvas here. You got two Agni Tattvas. Always you need to make sure whenever Mars is in the fourth house, kitchen must be neutralized by earth element, especially a yellow color and earth element in the kitchen. That will settle down the fire because it's only when you put rocks which is bigger than the fire itself it distinguishes the fire or even water but especially earth is neutralizing it we don't want to get the steam we want to distinguish that fire because that will you will see there's a lot of anger that the person holds within themselves a lot of frustration anger probably stemming through the mother stemming through their marriage and they burst like a volcano time to time. So this is why certain precautions should be taken with this. And they will also have battles with the elder sibling. Okay, they will have battles with the elder sibling, especially on philosophical conversations. You will see this individual get into you know debates major like loud debates with the elder something so now this doesn't mean that it's a bad relationship but when the philosophical team comes in they will always try to overpower their viewpoints onto the elder sibling okay so anyway, guys, uh, this was my analysis of Mars and the 4000 Leo. There are many other things that I just did not cover. Certain things should be kept with privacy of each person and their own chart. Uh, but anyway, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you didn't miss these type of videos. You want to know where your Mars is placed, all your logical details. Check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you with another video tomorrow or the day after. Bye-bye.